here it is. Started working on this a few days ago, and it's it's this fake leather, fake fur, and that's just nothing but air dry clay that I that I made into fake medallions and then painted them with gold glitter. But I'm still piecing that together, and I'm still working here on the on the shin guards. But these are these are just beta of a. Uh, upholstery tacks, little strips of, like I said, they're just nog hide, and um, those are copper washers that I painted with the same gold paint that I painted the, the fake medallions with. So anyway, this is based on an Anglo-Saxon design, and it's, uh, it's just, I made it up as I went. Just kind of, just kind of saw some things on the internet, and 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 just experimented with with some patterns, and then finally uh, came up with a with a design and, and put it together. And I'm gonna put it on and see see how it all looks. But this stuff, I see, I got I got leather trim on it, and and. I, I got this as a bolt at Goodwill, and I just grabbed it, and it looked really nice, and it's a nice houndstooth, really nice uh, furniture covering. I'm pretty sure it's what it's for. It's real heavy, and, uh, and again, real high-quality houndstooth. A bolt of it I grabbed. just It looked perfect for what I wanted to do, and then the liner is just a sheet. Of a, of a color that's real similar to this stuff. You can see where, where I, I, you know, I use it as a liner. Um, and then this, <laughs> it paid like eight dollars for it, and it ended up being about 12, 14 yards. It just goes on and on. I knew it was heavy when I picked it up, but I could not believe when I got it home and started opening up the sack and unrolling it. I got enough to make about 10 of these if I wanted to, but I'll use it for other things. It's just it's just perfect for a kind of a royal cloak. It's a real high quality f fabric too. So again, you can see the hound's tooth on it is just just excellent. Um, and the color of this trim sheet, this was just a, a bed sheet. Uh, hanging up right nearby this and they both the colors match so well I just grabbed it but I used it for the trim and then this is the original originally just started I got this trim in order to make a tunic and this is to wear the Renaissance Festival I might I might have a booth selling my book next year it's a year away but this is this is the costume I would wear as an, an Anglo-Saxon lord who's selling a book he wrote in the year 2000 and uh, what is it 19 and 20 is when I wrote the book so or the books I'm up to book number nine now so it's quite an epic okay so uh, we'll, le we'll leave it at that but I'm at book number nine and here's I made this this is this is my own work and I'd, I'll like I say I'm going to put it on and get a picture and uh, still got to finish it I got things to like I say I'm still working on this got to got to finish that and got to wire this up with fake gold fake gold uh, wire but once it's done it, it looks it looks like a at a glance something that an Anglo-Saxon would wear meeting together at some big old get-together so anyway um, I'm gonna finish it up but I, I just wanted to get a video of this while I had an opportunity